In many parts of the world, including Vietnam, tuberculosis is common. The disease is primarily a lung disease, but some of the most serious cases occur when the mycobacterial infection spreads to other organs. Especially concerning is when the infection causes inflammation of the brain and the meninges, the membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord, raising the pressure inside the skull and damaging the nervous system. Many patients suffer lifelong disabilities. Others do not survive. Tuberculous meningitis has been studied in adults in Vietnam, but there is little data about the disease in children who develop the complication more frequently. To begin to understand the challenges of treating the disease in Vietnamese children and identify places for improvement, researchers followed 100 cases from admission at a TB hospital in Ho Chi Minh City. Most of the children admitted for tuberculous meningitis were under the age of 5, and the most common symptoms were fever, vomiting, and neck stiffness. Headaches and seizures were also frequent. Doctors gave the children a combination of different antibiotics for 8 months, per the 2006 World Health Organization treatment guidelines. Despite treatment, 15% of the children died, and a third of the survivors were left with a moderate to severe disability. The researchers found that children who had convulsions or were already experiencing neurological complications were more likely to die from the disease. They also found that it took a median time of 19 days after first presenting to a hospital or clinic to start therapy. This reflects the difficulty of making a tuberculous meningitis diagnosis in children. Initial symptoms aren't specific, Smaller bodies mean labs have to make do with smaller clinical samples, and even the best diagnostic tests have poor sensitivity. Since half of the deaths occurred just six days after treatment began, this finding suggests that making the diagnosis speedier could save lives.